As for today, a little bit later, <laughs> Pastor Chang is going to lead us in a prayer. Then, <clears throat> then we're going to have dinner. While we're having dinner, my mother, Mie Gao, is going to introduce everybody. <laughs> 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 While we're having dinner, we'll have some small, we'll have some presentations by my sister, Leland English. <laughs> my cousin, Robert Gao, who is at that table. And then by a dear family friend, Joe Wong who I affectionately call the good son my mom wish he had. <laughs> then after dinner, we'll have cake, and then my father will have a few words. And then I'll close the evening later. So again, refreshments are in the next room. And uh, I'll announce when we're going to start dinner with, with the prayer in a few moments. Thank you. to say grace uh, before the dinner. But I don't know how to pray with the English. <laughs> so allow me, uh, uh, in, in Taiwanese, we, we pray for the, uh, this evening. Can I say that to you? I want to say that I want to thank you for your support and your support and your support in this country. So I want to thank you for your support and your support for 30 years. 主愿是爱心内充满了信心，啊，愿会通常常这六十年来，因检采经过真侪试炼、目屎、真侪挑战，总是愿看见因三听的快乐，赢过一切，到伫今仔日。主愿也要献上感谢伫你的面前，伫你的稳定甲保守下面，予因伫听的内底三结连，也结连伫上帝。祝因的婚姻，正做阮今仔日在座所有的人学习的典范。阮恳求你继续来扶持带领，伫阮所敬听啊这对信仰的长辈。六十年来，祝你过去安尼来引传甲带领，以后每一工的日子，祝你永远安尼来扶持、来祝福伫因的中间。我用感谢、用心先，也用祝福的心，参与伫这个。结婚六十周年，宣召婚啊，欢喜的这个宴席，就你好，你你也听来，这有好的交陪，更加重要。通过因啊，婚姻的生活，因所经过日子，正做阮继续跑走天路。那阮也搁牵手一个来学习的对象，啊，将永远归在你的名，也求你祝福。今仔日为着这个 party， 付出真侪辛苦，啊，这亲人家里。因啊所付出的，我要向谢大家，用感谢甲祈祷，献你主你的面前，奉主耶稣的性命来求。阿门。我来献祷。Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for、uh, your love and、uh, your grace、uh, upon my uncle Henry and my aunt May, and through this is、uh, 60 years of.、Uh, Wonderful marriage, and they have done so many、uh, wonderful testimonies. And Lord, we want to give thanks to you and give give all the glory to you. And may today's tonight's celebration, your name will be uplifted and praised. But we thank you and bless our conversations and our fellowship and bless the food. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. So now we would like to have dinner. If everyone would like to go to the next room, it is buffet style, and、uh, I hope you enjoy it very much. Thank you.、Uh, Henry's sister's son,、oh. and I, I was like a, a outside Pacific Ocean's son、uh, when I was fifteen.、Uh, uh, Henry and me took me. Uh, take care uh, uh, like like two years. I was living with them for two years.
Hi everyone, my name is Amelia Wu, and uh, my mother and um, Auntie Gao were uh, old friends, relatives uh, from the same area of Taiwan. And when they, uh, when my parents moved to Maryland, they moved to Virginia. They kept in touch, and so I grew up with uh, with Leland and Albert and Lisa, um, and so I've been blessed in other family for many years. Hello, uh, my name is Becky. I'm Henry and Mia's daughter-in-law. Um, there's uh, Albert's wife. <laughs> And we have some children running around. Two of them belong to us. <laughs> My name is Joe, and like Rob was, I uh, was an official cousin of Mia and Henry. That was my when I was come and when I came to the United States, I was their employee. And also they attended they were my then no. So in thirty seven years already. Thank you. Hang on. You guys have to know. This is I know from my wife and my, my uh, brother in law, this is always called the perfect son. It's always so good <laughs> to be in Henry. <laughs> Hi, I'm uh, Brian English. I'm the son of my mother, Leland, and father, Phil, <laughs> and uh, I'm the grandson of uh, me and Henry. And this is my beautiful, lovely girlfriend, Amanda, who has joined us. And thank you for being here today. Me go on. You are going to mom you. <laughs> no, you are going to go out. Go on, Bobby. Go on, Bobby. Bobby is, uh, was originally a friend of Phil's um, in college. They had together. Like, brother, and a friendship developed, and Lily and I became best friends. Um, oh, yes, kids. I'm joined by my husband and my three beautiful children and uh, my son, beautiful girlfriend. Hi, I'm Paul Hughes. We're hosting Robert, Kyle, and his family. And we came here for the food. Oh, I cook for you. Oh, you love that. No, you don't have to. I'm Catherine Chen, I'm Uncle Henry's brother's sister. I'm and I also want to thank Mrs. Chen for the beautiful flowers that are here today, that are adorning all the tables. I'm Miss Kevin, I'm Karen, so and my grandfather, who is the brother of me. <笑>我們媽媽說我們去美國去美國去美國去美國去美國去美國去美國去美國去美國去美國去美國去美國去美國去美國去美國去美國去美國去美國去美國去美國去美國去美國去美國去美國去美國去美國去美國去美國去美國
I'm going to show my mom when we go. <laughs> 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 uh, I also want to take time to introduce my daughters, uh, Audrey and Margaret. Uh, I also want to mention that uh, the origami that's on the table for everyone to keep uh, were made by my brothers. Uh, they, they worked very hard to uh, hold all the which uh, could agree to don't touch your friend. They are my best friend from Houston. So I know them very well for many, many years. And uh, we come for this special occasion to celebrate them. And uh, we pray God bless them, give them good health. And the joy. Thank you very much. Please hold the mic close to your face. You have to hold it kind of Hi, everyone. I'm Jin Ho. I'm an honor to attend Miss Mai's diamond anniversary. And she is my god auntie. Thank you. <laughs> Mr. Kao is my uh, uncle. Actually, it's yeah. My mother's side is uh, uh, related. The, my grandfather and uh, Mr. Kao's father were cousins. Second cousins. I don't know how, they, how much uh, close. So, but uh, we know each other uh, since about 60 years, more than 60 years. And I was in tai Tainan, and Mr. Gao was, was there too, so we know each other quite well. Okay. Happy Henry anniversary. And, uh, and Henry. Wine. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> We know how the cow and the cow church and we know when we move here. I'm Yeah, you don't mind. That was wonderful. You just okay, uh, this is uh, this, Jessica and uh, Joe and Benjamin Joe. They are all really good friends. Uh, uh, <音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音
celebration for your, for your marriage. It's just wonderful. As an old friend, a lot of things that we can do together. And I see children growing up so well. Albert, wow, I cannot believe it. So, so good, so great. Good job. Continue, go on. Okay, here is the young, young, young person who wants to say something. Sure. Hi, I'm Sue Dean. I'm the daughter of Mr. Bond sitting there. I'm the daughter of Elaine Dean that passed in the intro. And uh, he um, kindly would bring her meals during the time that she was in hospice and maybe before I just maybe wasn't as aware. But I appreciate it because. Uh, one time I was arriving at my mom's house and there was me with my cane bringing some say hello and so I appreciate your warmth um, and your friendship to my mom and my parents. And happy to be here and to celebrate the special day. Congratulations. <laughs> Uh,我的先生卡,这个高先生卡,他太太,他,我的朋友,他的朋友,他的朋友,他的朋友,他的朋友,他的朋友,他的朋友,他的朋友,他的朋友,他的朋友,他的朋友,他的朋友,他的
，坦白啦，会长讲啊，讲了，你走，会长讲啊，那个会长来把咱分位，哪里啦？ If I know I have to speak, I might not want to come. Yeah, because、uh, I'm not used to speak in the public in English.、Uh, anyway, I don't know them to start with until one day I follow a car and、uh, the car turn left, turn right, and、uh, not staring just like somebody drunk. <laughs> and、uh, so I say, how strange! When she make a turn, I have to make the right turn too. And then keep、uh, following him and、uh, them until they come to their carport, and I find out, oh, they are my neighbors, and I don't know. <laughs> and and since then we getting、uh, know each other,、uh, and then it,、uh, next day and、uh, then Sunday we went to church and happened to find out they sit next to us, so many coincidence. So I, we become closer and closer, and、uh, I find out、um, both of them nearly died of reading. So each time they say, "If you have any magazine, book, or anything, get to me." So I just come back from、uh, Colorado, and I, I almost forgot today I have to come. So today in the afternoon, I pack a whole bag bag of the book. And put in the front of your house. Do you find it <laughs> good? I hope you enjoy. Thank you. You, they are very kind neighbor. I do really like them. Thank you. Um, I, I have the welcome. Uh, I in Taiwan, a very good friend. Uh, is my friend. Uh, I have my friend. Uh, is 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 my 诶、欸，甲我讲，伊有一个伊足尊敬的阿哥，叫伊搬来恁遐，就是你诶、哦。所以啊，这样的关系吼，我呃，我我知影讲有伊有一个真尊敬啊、真爱的阿哥。啊，诶、欸，捌因的时阵，我一个真大诶感受就是讲，因两个身体敢若无偌好，啊，行动也不方便。啊，不过因拢足坚强，因拢笑笑。你真罕咧看到伊无咧笑，啊，因真无方便，中间伊嘛拢做勇敢，啥物款聚会，伊哪会答，伊拢差不多有来，我感觉讲足感心的啦吼，我想迄是互咱会当学习的，诶诶一对啊长辈 ，OK， 我是，诶、欸，我先生是林某人，我是吴瑞慧。<笑>啊，我是张立文吼，啊，我伫少年的时候有得着高小姐听吼，伊迄阵还袂结婚了，一、啊、个啊少年的，啊，伫台南的一个办公室吼，啊，伫一号房间，啊，后边啊，咱、啊啊啊啊啊啊、呢，特别见面啊呢，啊，来到南哥那问。发现讲哇，有哦结婚啊，因因太太都唔是台南人，哦，都是嘉义人，哦，啊，所以呃，台南跟嘉义，真远嘞，哦，好大好大交通不便啊，爱电话真会困难，哦，啊啊，来这啊有见到你的反应。就恁遐，伊伊少年的时，啊，伫台南遐，我安食活动，吼，啊，差不多真济人，迄阵啊，拢有识在，啊，真欢喜，啊，欢迎结婚六十周年，啊，家来祝先来，恭喜。Hi, my name is Jocelyn. I just found out、uh, last year, Mie and I we attended the same.
Jai Girls Middle School. She was three years ahead of me. And since then, we felt special bond. And she was always so sweet and uh, greeted me when we went to church. And happy 60th diamond anniversary. And this is my husband, Kenneth Chen. Before hurry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my name is Linda Shea. Uh, actually, I'm very uh, honored. I knew uh, Zhao Zhang Zhao yeah, and Kai Kai Han Ye in 1980. They were the one, uh, um, like uh, the early established uh, church, established uh, Reformed Church in Reformed Church in New Town, in Queens, New York. At that time, it was 1980, so it's about 35 years ago. So I'm sure, so they were very active in the church. You know, yeah. Orders and a lot of the church uh, like service that. and me and say, she's always busy in the kitchen. So she was a very helper you know, for the, for the pastor one. Mm -hmm. That time we had to cook for the, what, 200 people eat? You know, we know all the food is cooked for 200 people. Anyway, I was so happy. Two years ago, they moved to here. And uh, I'm, I'm sure I'm sad to see that you know, after 36, 7 years, uh, we're all older. You know, even me, I'm older. <laughs> I thought I'm young, but I'm still old. Anyway, so they have a little bit difficult in walking. But me and Tommy, you know, hey, she was in home. Who should like to talk about? And don't go, who should like to take who's like? And what should like to talk about? And what should like to talk about? And what should like to talk about? I know um, the elder Paul still have a very young mind, so he still want to do a lot of things that he hopes to enjoy. So um, I think that you move to this uh, Laguna Woods, this is a very famous retirement place. So I'm sure with everybody's help, uh, you can have a little fun here. And if he want to go for the cruise, it's not impossible. I'm sure he was able to do it. And uh, if you want to do some, uh, some kind of activity, like uh, when they choose to something, they will be able to do it. So I'm really happy to move here. So their life still going on. So I hope um, whatever God gives to us or to, to them, you know, they will enjoy these last golden years. Okay. Oh, oh, this is Christina. She probably <laughs> introduced her. And it's her husband, uh, Victor, Victor Lee. Hey, my name is Daniel Pine. I'm just a designated driver for my parents. Um, that's, uh, my, my mom is uh, Julie Pine and my dad is uh, Jean Pine. And my mom is uh, Mrs. Wolf's uh, high school classmates. And th these are three classmates right here. And it's amazing they can still be together. So um, congratulations for this uh, anniversary. And um, throughout all the pictures and all the hearing and saying that I'm really grateful. and. Boy, serving God in many different ways, and I'm really happy to be here. Uh, I have a little bit <音樂><音樂><音樂><音樂><音樂><音樂><音樂> 
，伊演过啊吼，家己女中，啊嘛去家己西门第礼拜，所以阮真识。啊，因爸爸做丢落，苦丢落，到尾也搬去高雄。哎，我想吼，伊是阮迄班的哦，上早结婚的啦。<笑><笑>是哦，你来想哦，嘿，他搁想再来比过，好、哦，我咱足新鲜的哦，哎呦，我刚才遐大汉来去比过，哎，我搁是嫁比过人的，都唔是哦，咱大汉，哈，嫁过到时啦，吼，啊，我哦来比过哦，都唔捌见面哦。到去年哦，伊拢会打电话我啦。伊算倒一出，哪下来？先来先底下我啊，还是来加州哦？哎，就拢会打电话啦。阮电话拢听，拢知影，声拢听知影，但是拢唔捌看到。去年哦，阮小组的查囡啦，我讲啊，比比来南部南部的吼，啊有一个吼，杨卓一，伊演过伫阮的教会，伊知影。叫伊家己载啊，去小小组的查囡，所以阮去年、去年吼，去年才第一届见面，六十几单哦，才第一届见面，哦，我也看到拢老啊啦，<笑>真正袂真正，啊，这个嘛，我的同好呢，他拄啊，即摆我咧甲叫，伊讲啊，他有人咧叫我去食。<笑>哎呦，我未认真啊啦，太安尼，变安尼，我未认真啊啦，有影，老啊啦，我无偷刀啊，老白啥？啊，我讲有影啦，一过啊吼，别个死死，伊那啊，啊，拢，这一过拢在搞看走的呢，在钢琴的呢，啊，啊，即嘛吼，拢老啊，我嘛要未比即个啊啦，未认即个啊啦。哦，我女儿食老啊啦，啊吼，今仔日吼，会当来参加吴教授啊，甲赵燕娥啊，我同学的，伊宣传结婚十十周年的这个结婚，安尼，我真感谢啦。啊，我吼，爱过两单，所以。因头赶上哈，再两年哈，啊，唔忙哈，啊咧，伊会当来台湾住啦哈，台湾真感谢，多谢。真叫牛逼，那张俊林真是无简单啊。啊！伊伊 invite me 来，来参加一下，我是做啥物来？就讲，哎，你在做安怎？哈哈哈哈哈哈！今年我们就不能把今年，今年我们就，哦，就比较理想嘛，我爸爸。所以我就想，啊，我是来爱一点来支持到，啊，所以我就讲，我我是先先讲讲讲，讲讲讲讲，我刚刚起来就讲，讲讲讲讲，讲讲讲讲，讲讲讲讲，讲讲讲讲，讲讲讲讲，讲讲讲讲，讲讲讲讲，讲讲讲讲，讲讲讲讲，讲讲讲讲，讲讲讲讲，讲讲讲讲，讲讲讲讲，讲讲讲讲，讲讲讲讲，讲讲讲讲，讲讲讲讲，讲讲讲讲，讲讲讲讲，讲讲讲讲，讲讲讲我咪一个人，就开阿包皮子。伊是足好诶，伊大概吼所有诶朋友诶消息吼，伊拢甲我讲，甲我无可能是嘛，怎哦，无可能怎哦，怎哦，甲我传消息啦。啊，我足感觉足比较熟悉，因为我我家己本身都无讲，听，拢咧伊咧讲听。啊，因为我做翻译诶，是咱只嘛啊啊，即即位啦，只有真正是在。我高中拢做初诶，个个甲嘉义民族吼，从初中到高中拢做伊嘛，啊，不提伊本来吼，啊，我家己本来早伊做，我家己在咧讲我是倒去啊，哎，明白，不是啊，你，因为中部地嘛，安尼，就得分配，啊啊。我我帮你弄好，但是他一样的就是没用掉，我喜欢。是啦，我无介绍阮先生啦。我
是这人高分流，读书啦，读书啦，啊，这我是唔读啦，哎，是我世界的人啦，哦，日本我世界，啊，我都未晓去来吃哦，啊，我是读，啊，我是来啦，高出分，哈哈哈哈哈，还是读书人，真的。Excuse me, I only speak haltingly in Taiwanese. No, as a matter of fact, I don't speak anything in Taiwan. But it's good to see so many happy faces. It's good to be family. It was, it was so good to have Henry and Mie come to in the middle of Illinois, in the middle of the country, because they cared about their family. And so in response, we've been able to come out here and to see this kind of warmth, this kind of family, it's very good. My wife, Fran, myself, Mike, our daughter, Mary Travis, and we have been so pleased to be part of the English family with Lee Lynn, and then to find out that that uh, Albert is not such a bad son. He's, <laughs> he's been, he's been. Hi, everybody. My name is Pat English. You may even know me if you live in the village. Um, Bill is my son. And Mia is my daughter-in-law, and I am very honored to be at Mia and Henry's 60th wedding anniversary. It's not that many people that make 60 years. It's fantastic. And as I said, I'm honored. I have my grandsons here, uh, Travis and Spencer and Brian, and my three grandsons. And I'm really happy to be here, and I'm really happy that you could all make it. So happy anniversary, Mia and Henry. And I just want to say thank you for um, having us uh, uh, here. It's my pleasure. And uh, I wish you many more years. Uh, to very, very best. Uh, well, uh, my name is Spencer English. Um, I'm the uh, grandson of uh, Henry and the VA uh, to my over here. Um, this is my wife, Katie. She's very shy. <laughs> She's from Scotland, and actually, uh, we met in uh, China, but she doesn't speak any Chinese. So, uh, but if you know a little bit of uh, Scottish, uh, she will actually understand. <laughs> Hi, uh, my name is Travis. I am the mother the eldest grandchild of uh, me and Henry. I'm really happy that uh, we're all able to come together on occasion, and I'd like to, um, I'd like to point out all of the, the work that uh, has taken place to put this event together. So to Albert, to my mom, my dad, Brian, uh, Audrey and Margaret, they, they've spent a lot of time over the past few days to, to decorate, put the slideshow together. Um, so can we all give them maybe a quick round of applause? So much trouble. Yeah, I would just like this is my, this is my wife, Betsy. This is Elizabeth. Here. Since my husband forgot me, I just wanted to say thank you so much. This has been an honor to be a part of this family. And I've enjoyed um, our moments in the kitchen together, which I hope will continue throughout the years. Congratulations. <laughs> 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 
我祝福你哦，我教会哦，进步第三队啦，第三队啦吼，啊，第一队是迄个所在吼，啊，第二队还是第三队吼，啊，啊，后壁的人一直，即嘛有人搁搁，哦，顺着搁两年吼，啊，有人搁过年，有人搁几年吼。啊，咱来甲决定，我后摆三十周年以后，逐年拢爱做啦吼。哎，三十周年难做诶，叫做等到七十年，较较久就出来啦吼。啊，咱逐年拢爱做，安尼，啊，叫福气啊，参加大家在聚会啊，特别看因所建立家庭，啊，代表今日无来，今日聚会，今日恭喜，大家祝欢喜。啊，我今日就是无好做啦，恭喜恁三十周年，三十岁啦，迈向第一。继续伫恁个中间，诶、欸，我无事，你来做一个，系啊，卖搞公益会议啊，我我我俾人介绍，伊介绍伫遮啦吼。I also want to thank the Irvine Taiwanese Presbyterian Church for providing the wonderful cake that we're about to have in a little bit. My name is、uh, Andrew Chow.、Uh, this is my wife. In Japanese, did、uh, congratulations, Doctor and Mrs. Tao. Your 60th wedding anniversary is very, very, very precious to you and to me too. You just follow our step. <laughs> On the first day of this year, we celebrate the same 60 years wedding anniversary. You know how many days? 21,000 days. It's not easy to get through, but if you get through it, ah, congratulations. May God bless you. Ah,、uh, so good to see all of you here. It's very wonderful、uh, to meet all of your faces. I know this is very, very special occasion. Sixty years—that's a very, very long time.、Uh, you know, I can just wear this suit from yesterday because yesterday my second daughter's wedding, and I wear the same same suit. And that was in North Carolina, the other side of、uh, the coast, and. After the waiting 10:30 last night, I need to、uh, rest, and then、uh, this morning I woke up real early and went to across the、uh, continent to this side. <coughs> Originally, my daughter's waiting was、uh, the same day, <laughs> and I want her to move because I feel like this is more important to me. Than 60 years, so I'm. Uh, uh, I need to call him、uh, Uncle Henry. Actually, he's a doctor. And, uh, uh, brother's son and my wife Jean Kyo. We have five kids, but、uh, only、uh, two kids are here. One is Jubilee, the fourth one, and then my youngest one is uh, uh, Jacob. So it's so wonderful to be in this event. Not as good. Father Devon, I had a chance to share a little bit of you. Thank you. Okay, so now、uh, I mentioned there was there will be some quick presentations, not only presentations, but、uh, some words from three people. And here is my sister Lynn. Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Because I know I have a soft voice, and people say that you can't hear me. So I made up a little. Can you hear me? Okay. So first of all, I have to make a confession. About planning this party, I made a guest list, and I kept track of how many people were coming and who was coming, so I would have a correct number to order the food. Then I sent Becky and Albert a copy of the list so that they would also have that number.、Um, then、um, Albert called me and said, "We have to add six more people." I'm like, "Six more people." You forgot to add me and my family and mom and dad. <laughs> so we have to add six more people to our food number.、Um, and I was very embarrassed and flabbergasted. 
and I couldn't believe that I made such a mistake. But my brother was really good. There was no drama. He didn't like get upset, and we just moved on. So what I'd like to say today is, being married for 60 years is a very long time. Um, for my husband, he would say that was eternity. <laughs> And we're only halfway there. Um, in fact, 60 years of marriage is not a piece of cake. People enter into matrimony with joy and hope. After a few years, they get used to each other, and reality hits. He doesn't take his clothes off the floor. He forgets to order the flowers. They start expecting without communicating. So how does a marriage last 60 years, especially an arranged marriage? Their marriage was not based on the notions of romance or physical attraction, um, but on practicality of what would make a good family or a strong alliance. It seemed more like a business negotiation. And how do two people unknown to each other and with different backgrounds make a life together? My father, the middle child among five siblings, lost his father at age 10. He grew up in a frugal environment guided by hard work and strong Christian values. My mother, the youngest of six children, grew up with more affluence that afforded her family hired help, but also guided by Christian values. I reflected on this question of how does a marriage last 60 years? And so I came up with four things that I've learned from my parents. Number one, faith. According to this philosopher, Eckhart Tolle, he says, Life is an adventure, it's not a package tour. Um, life and marriage is not a tour package that we can plan. It is a journey lined with uncertainty and challenges which can strengthen or defeat a person. With faith, my parents' relationship endured and overcame challenges. When coming to America, my father, faced loneliness, worked as a janitor at church while keeping up his engineering studies. He ended up with a PhD in a successful career as a mechanical engineer in the nuclear industry. My mom could not speak English or cook when she first arrived. Remember, she had hired her. Now my mother can travel the world without difficulty and her delicious cooking famous in New York, Texas, Virginia, and California. My parents had four children and lost two. This can put a strain on a relationship, but with faith in God, they took one step at a time. For we walk by faith, not by sight. Corinthians, Number two, forgiveness. Faith is important in 60 years of marriage, but forgiveness is huge. I remember at a wedding of Phil's cousin. Her name was Jennifer. The priest spoke to Jennifer and her husband, Justin, about forgiveness. He repeated the word 10 times over and over again to emphasize its importance. Like all couples, my parents argued, but they eventually forgave each other and moved on with life. For 60 years, there has been a lot of forgiveness and acceptance. Think how much practice they've had. Forgiveness is not saying that the other person was right or wrong, but they recognize that they're human and they make mistakes. They accept and love each other unconditionally. My parents practice forgiveness to move on and to be here today to celebrate 60 years of marriage. Number three, 
humor. My happiest moments of my parents are when they tease each other and laugh together. It is as though our spirits lift upward and we are closer to heaven. Humor is an antidote to keeping a marriage together. I wish I could be better at this. I heard the other day that my father was complaining about my mom watching five hours of TV. <laughs> my mother turned what could have been a tense moment into a, a light one by saying, she actually watches 10 hours. <laughs> so I like what Victor Borg, I don't know how to say it, he says, laughter is the shortest distance between two people. So the last one that I want to share that I learned is gratitude. Being grateful can be a mindset that keeps us from falling prey to feeling like a victim or feeling negative. It is easy to do after living together for a long time. But with gratitude, my parents have found abundance and each other's love and companionship for 60 years. I know my parents are grateful for each other and they show it in different ways. My father is more verbal. He will tell me or write down how much he appreciates how my mother takes care of him. My mother shows her gratitude with action, cooking, washing, and showing concern for his well-being. In the spirit of what I've learned from my parents, I am grateful for all of you for taking time to travel from far and near to be present to celebrate my parents' 60th anniversary. I would like to thank my family for stepping up and helping out with this event and having patience with me in these past few days. Forget that they are on the guest list, so. You are part of my parents' love story, sharing good and difficult times with laughter, faith, forgiveness, and gratitude. Thank you. Next uh, is my cousin who, in, in, who is in the unenviable position of following my sister's first there. <laughs> so this is my cousin Robert. Won't be too long. <laughs> That's very important to me. First of all, I'd like to uh, say thank you to my uncle and, and my aunt. Throughout the years, they really, uh, I would say, I want to summarize this is a channel of blessing to our family and also to extended family as well. And Bobby, you you heard a lot of a testimony already. I mentioned that. Uh, Uncle Harry, so I was born ever since uh, one year old. Right now I'm 60 some. He knows my uh, all my my growing up process and so on. And he really gave me a, a lot of guidance. And just like uh, he is my second father to me, like I mentioned, uh, I feel like uh, I cannot miss this 60-year diamond anniversary at all. So I, I want my daughter to change her way. <laughs> so this is very, very important to me. <clears throat> and I remember uh, when my dad came to the United States to study, and my dad, uh, I think the second year, uh, he got a, a stroke. Uh, that happened in Atlanta. And my uncle, at that time, I think he was in Lynchburg, Virginia. And he just uh, I took off and drove all the way down to see my, my dad. And I was in high school or middle school. And 
with my mom in Taiwan. I didn't know anything about the U.S. at all because we never heard anything about the U.S. life and, and this uh, environment. So Uncle Henry really, really uh, and, and, and he made it really taking care of my, my dad. And that's one thing I, I can remember really, uh, we really appreciate. And another thing is I like you to mention is about I received a very precious gift from my uncle Henry. When he visited me, I live in the Kansas City, Missouri. I was 30 years old. Uh, that was a birthday gift. He brought me the, the Bible. And front page, and he just uh, write down blessing words. And that Bible is still on my desk. I still use it. It's a Chinese Bible. I'm still using it. That's a very precious. To me. Another thing is, Uncle Henry and Auntie May, they moved from uh, East Coast to, uh, and somehow my in-law also in Houston. Gina and I, we got married in Houston about 34 years ago. And that time, Uncle Henry and Auntie May, they just moved to Houston. So their house becomes uh, my relatives of kind of uh, the home for preparation of the wedding, so we really appreciate it. And Uncle Henry, he cared about his relatives. I can just give you one example. He came to Kansas City to visit me. At that time, I just uh, started my career, the second year, and he came to uh, see me and he said, Robert, please take him to your office. So I take him to your office in the weekend and nobody there, and I say, well, it's on the third floor, so he went up to the third floor with me. He said, where is your ticket going? And I showed him and get my first report from the, the company. And I, I still remember he said three words. Gao. <laughs> you know how to put that Gao. Great, great, great. And that's a, that was my first report. So I feel like Uncle here, not just to say, from a phone call, say, oh, how are you? How are you doing? He really cared and extended and come to visit, and he wanted to see where is your office. So that kind of a heart really touched uh, the Chaos family for many, many years. So uh, also, every time I, when I grew up, uh, they mentioned about Uncle Harry. Always, we, I remember, this is Dr. Henry Dow and he's an uh, engineer, uh, uh, nuclear engineer. At that time, I was only 10 or 12 or 15, and I was like, wow, this is Dr. Dow. <laughs> so I really respect him uh, and this uh, aspect. So when my father came over here, and Uncle Henry also applied for my uh, green card, that's very important. And somehow, because my dad had illness, the green card process all got delayed. And later on, uh, immigration office, they catch up all this record, and they call me out for the interview. And after the interview, I went back, that was in DC, I still remember. I went back to, uh, that time I was in Nebraska studying my graduate school. And I went back to my office, and I saw there's a, the telephone uh, notes to say, please call Texas uh, and there's a job opportunity for you. And first phone call, they ask you, do you have a green card? I say, yes, last week I just interviewed and I thought about this is from Uncle Henry. I'm so thankful. The Lord did not waste any time. So, throughout the years, I am always real thankful for his care and that he and uh, Uncle Gary and Auntie May, they moved to uh, California about two years ago, or last year, last year, two years. And I called them and they always say, come to visit us, just like you visit the Houston, as your second home, and I said, well, it's kind of a, somehow my travel always uh, down to the south or the east, and very seldom I have a chance to come to California. But this time, I really want to make an effort to come over here. So 
This is, I'm so glad I'm part of this celebration. And it seems a, again, I like to say it, here's a channel of blessing to many, many people. I like to quote Psalm 128. It says, The blessed is everyone who fears the Lord, who walks in His ways. When you eat the labor of your, uh, of your hands, you shall be happy, and it shall dwell with you. Your wife will be like a fruitful one, fruitful vine, in the very heart of your house. Your children like all the plants all around your table. I think today we see that. So this is a promise from the Lord, and we are in a part of this celebration. May God bless this family and continue. You will be the channel to many, many people. Thank you. Oh, one more thing. Very important. <laughs> I just mentioned about my second daughter at a wedding last night. And she liked to uh, write something uh, related to the verse, and I said, how about you write a Hebrew 13.8? I want to send it to uh, my uncle and my auntie. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Hebrew 13.8. And this will be for their uh, from my family. Good evening, everybody. My name is Joe. Um, I'm official God, son of me and Henry. <laughs> it is such a special privilege to be able to share some of my precious memory as we celebrate their 60th anniversary. Their kindness and friendship for over more than 37 years occupy a very special place in my heart. As a young student when I come to the United States, they provide me a job, a place to live, and now, as I'm an old man, I still treasure their kindness and relationship. They've been married 60 years is a feast and a rare. So to say the least, 25 years is the 25th years is silver, 50 years is gold, and then 60 years is the diamonds, the rare gems, precious gems. And truly, me has been a jewelry for Henry. We all congratulate them for their commitment to each other and for the love they have shared now in more, more than 60 years. Reflecting back on so many fond memories shared with me and Henry, I think of our time spent together visiting in Taiwan, New Jersey, Texas, New York, and California, as there was a time when I was their employee, as well as their tenant. As a young graduate student studying in New York City, I was looking for a job and their dry, clean, their dry cleaner operation needed helper, and I was fortunate to be their helper. I knew from the very first time meeting Henry and Mia that they were very kind and caring. After working for them for just a few short times, an opp opportunity came up to move into their, their first floor of their three family apartments. Just like that. They, they become my boss, my landlords, and I recall many, recall many morning waking up at five o'clock in the morning and leaving with me, my subway from Crossy on New York at Queens to go to the cleaner at 92nd Street in Lexington Avenue. That was to open the, the dry cleaner at seven o'clock in the morning. Rain and shine, snowy or not. <laughs> Eventually, I was not only working for Mia, but also eating her wonderful and famous famous dishes. Mia would hear me coming 
home from the school, nine o'clock in the evening, and then he would prepare a meal for me. Mia was my unofficial grandmother here in the United States. Henry, an elderly in Newtown Reformed Church, had invited me to attend service with them, and sure enough, the cherished wall of Amazing Grace became quite personal. I was, I once was lost, but then was found. And I have aged, the wall may need to be flipped around. I once was found, now I'm lost. But having Henry and me in my life at that, at that age has the wonderful impression on me. The arrangement was perfect. A job, a roof over my head, and an introduction to the Christian faith. And yes, great state and rice from the dinner. <laughs> Not only did I have a roof over my head, I also had my apartment furnished with a very nice furniture, like actually it come from Henry's sister, Joe's mother. And it turned out that the furniture had once belonged to Mr. Y. C. Wang, Formosa Plastic Group Chairman, when they lived in New in Manhattan. And it turned out that Chairman Wang is my grand uncle. It is a really small world. For sure. Mm -hmm. The time we spent together were allowed, were always be cherished as they took me in and treat me nearly as a son. Our friendship continued as we would have opportunity to visit together. In life, there are many changes, but one thing that has remained constant was the friendship that we have been able to share with this couple significant amount of love, patience, and wisdom is required to have a marriage to last 60 years. My, I have met, been married for over one and a half of that time. I, I'm sorry, the half of that time. I'm honored to know them and to have this opportunity to celebrate this special anniversary. My last word. This is very important. And looking forward to celebrate their Quentin anniversary in 10 years. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Thank you, uh, Leewen, Robert, and Joe. So right now, we're going, we're going to serve the cake. If anyone wants some coffee, now probably would be a good time to go to the next room and maybe get some coffee. Uh, uh, so we're going to have cake now, right after. While having cake, my father would say a few words, and then uh, Thank you. Cake up. Someone hold the cake, and then we move the table. The Jesse's safer. Yeah. Brian, you're in charge. Take care. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank
bought the house, the manoa, right in uh, this place two years ago or two, two three years ago. So we, we were moved. We were forced to move. <laughs> All of a sudden, we have to move. We have to pack. I don't know well, what we do. So because we stay in Houston for 33 years, but uh, suddenly we have to move. So, so uh, I mean, uh, children and many people come to house and parking, parking, and uh, we just sat like uh, uh, nothing to do and just looking at the people moving. <laughs> so we, we are happily moved to here. We found this is a nice place, and since we use this Houston. We have a church starting from my family, and uh, EFC church. And uh, we have uh, three, three couples together. We make an effort to make a, a nice church. That's the idea was that uh, we saw that in the Houston the Chinese church. We saw so many, so many branding churches everywhere, but the uh, tiny church is not growing fast enough. So three of us sat together and said, let's start one one for Taiwanese. So we had sat in my house. First we have a Sunday Bible class, and then we have a... So at that time I was... Somehow I tried to borrow the places for church. <coughs> we, we didn't mean to be a church, but uh, the number grow, 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 and then my second floor, we will not fill up my members. So we started this church many places. I, uh, I figure I had uh, six, six or seven American churches. We went to the bar and then move around all the time. But this EFC, Southwest EFC, EFC Church, now is growing nicely. So uh, I only like to say is that uh, my wife, not only she started zero from France, she came to the United States. She didn't have much English and uh, no cooking skill at all. Because she, said, <laughs> she said she was the last child in the family, a big family. So, so many sisters in laws, so she doesn't have to do anything before. The ones come to the United States, she has to cook for me. <laughs> and then, 60 years ago, about we found in New York City only three families speak Chinese, speak Taiwanese. So we every week we turn around, I mean, uh, take turns, go to one, two, three, and uh, three, one time, one circle, in three weeks. And then we train around all the places and eat. And every time she Look at the dishes. She make a note, put down, and they go home and try out. And if the taste is not right, she throw away and they cook again and do it. and do that. Do the order skill. And now, after we moved to the groundwood, we call it the paradise on the earth. <laughs> So I appreciate it because we like it very much. And I see so many friends and uh, the church is doing so good and have about 100 people gathering almost every week of a, high, a nice gathering. Particularly I feel very friendly with uh, Dr. C.K. Lin and also Kida Yang. Peter Young, this two particular person, I feel very friendly, very close. But all others, 
Uh, very good. We feel very, very much at home. So I. Now at Laguna uh, Wood, we I don't do that. There are lots of uh, programs for people to enjoy and uh, do the activities, but uh, we don't go much. But uh, <coughs> but now I. I see my wife is manager, my boss. <laughs> my mom, my boss. Andra. What? You are Shaohua too. Shaohua. She was my life saving. So I appreciate it very much. I see you. See the cooking program every every day, every day. So I say too much, but she said it's okay. I <laughs> so I think this time I like to give her a cooking PhD. <laughs> They all like mm -hmm. except pure English. I think they're about them. And after she, she protected me so long, and then I appreciate very much. I don't say more. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> with a toast, I'd like to get a few words in myself, uh, not to preempt the, uh, uh, my parents who are being honored here. So, I had my whole life to think about this. Wish me luck that I don't screw this up. All right. Because I've only been alive for 51 years, and really only a fully functioning adult for 10, I can't even fathom what it means to be married for 60 years. I mean, that's just beyond my, my mind. But I imagine it requires an enormous amount of love, devotion, and work. Uh, I thank them for that love, devotion, and work in raising me. I owe all of my successes to them. Life is very hard and very unforgiving. Uh, raising my sister and me in a new country with a new language and new customs must have been extremely challenging. While Leland, I believe, probably made it easy because she's attentive, thoughtful, and very helpful, I suspect that I did not make it easy for them. <laughs> this celebration honoring them is an example of her attentiveness, thoughtfulness, and kindness. Uh, actually, also, I want to point out what my sister's wearing today. The, uh, <laughs> this is actually my mother's dress <laughs> that she wore how many years ago? When my mom, I think when you were in your 30s. So I would have been about, I don't know, well, it's about 40 years old, this dress. The example of what it was like to raise me was not like that. I, I like to think that I was more like a bad cell phone. I have lots of features that my parents do not, do not want or need. I had an extremely unfriendly operating system. I often had zero reception, did not work. I also shut down without warning. And worst of all, I was expensive and they couldn't return me. But somehow, my parents and Leland stuck with me and helped me out as I worked out all of my kinks. Again, I owe all of my successes to them. Uh, everyone, okay, I would now like to toast my parents, if we could. Uh, I don't have a toast for better. Oh. 
both taser and that taser hits me too. There you go. This would be very simple. I, I just uh, want to say uh, congratulations to my parents on 60 years of marriage and hope uh, their marriage, marital bliss, I wasn't cross my uh, continues for many, many more years. Uh, congratulations. Cheers. Thank you again to everyone for taking time out of your busy lives to come together today to celebrate my parents. Thank you. And there is lots of leftovers and we have to-go containers. So everyone wants to take some food home to loved ones who couldn't make it. Uh, please feel free and, and please be welcome to take some food. Thank you. Everybody, thank you so much for coming. It means the world that you came. Thank you so much.